What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is in response to a few comments I've gotten, specifically S. Chuck. This is the information that you're looking for and to help out anyone else. This is a, a supplement to the Easy Go video and this is for a 2001 Robbins engine in particular, but it should relate to anything um, roughly in that era. So I'm going to flip back here. I've got a few ignition specs that I can show. And you'll have to forgive me. It's been years since I've done that video. And uh, I'm in the middle of another project right now. And so I can't even wrap my head around it. But I just wanted to show each of these pages here. You can pause and look at. This one is a little bit about testing the ignition circuit but then we'll find more information on the next couple pages here. So here's a diagram of what your ignition circuit should look like. And then over here again, we have sort of in the cart how things are running. And then I'll just flip the page here. We've got some... Uh, readouts as far as resistance I'll get to in one second hopefully this is readable and then here I'll give close-ups so you can see on the primary you want between 3.7 and 5.2 ohms and on the secondary between 10 and 17 kilo ohms. Then here's another check method. Apologize, the top was the check method. The bottom is just the wiring. Then we'll see if we have anything else. A little bit on the charging circuit. And that's about it. Just discussion on using a digital voltmeter and troubleshooting. I can show that page just in case it's useful. And if there's anything else you're needing, here's a electrical wiring diagram. Anything else you're needing, please let me know. I've got um, books on the non-Robbins engine, uh, and then I've got a stack of books down there. Easy Go, Club Car, Yamaha, Columbia, I think. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Make sure to like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you on the next video.